Yo, what's good, yo? Devin Malik, uh, I'm back with it. Same shit, different day. Same high, different day, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's gonna be another quick little video, really. Um, and another SoundCloud topic video. I've been getting a lot of responses and a lot of feedback on the SoundCloud videos, because... I don't know, I guess motherfuckers just want to learn some game from it, so... This video is going to be covering a few uh, topics. It's pretty much going to be how to hit your first 1,000 followers, or how to how to get your first 500 followers, how to get your SoundCloud started. Like, if you're a new... If you're making a new account, pretty much. This isn't for the people that's been up there, been uploading and shit like that. This is pretty much for... Like, say you make a brand new SoundCloud today. What steps should you take to make it... Get as much traffic as it possibly can, you know? Um, how can you skip a lot of those beginner steps? So, we're going to get right into it. Um, I think the number one thing you have to do is already have some sort of vision or idea about what you want to market on your SoundCloud, what kind of music you make, and um, what kind of, if it's a collective, if it's just your personal beat channel, if it's a rap duo, whatever the fuck it is. You got to know before. You pretty much, you got to understand that. Um... What happens is a lot of people, they make these rushed accounts that look extremely unprofessional, either with some silly, goofy-ass name or not any high-quality professional pictures or just little things like that. So what you want to do is you already got to have a name, a profile picture that is high-quality. And if not high-quality, at least something that is eye-catching or something that is motherfuckers rolling through the crib and shit. Or at least somebody that, some sort of um, name and photo that is eye-catching and appearing, right? So, if I was to make it a SoundCloud today for, let's say, just instrumentals, right? The first thing I would do is I'd probably follow 100 to 300 people um, that are in the same type of category or genre that I am that are doing better than me on SoundCloud. And the reason why you do this is because, one, you should, you should learn to model after examples that work, you know? If you are a producer, it would make sense to go to a producer SoundCloud that has 10K, 20K, and kind of figure out what they do, how they upload the type of descriptions in their videos, the type of interactions they have with fans, all that type of shit, you know? Because um, that's really what's going to help you in the long run. I would I would definitely follow maybe at, at least 100 people. If you just made the account, at least follow 100 people because this is how you're going to see them reposting tracks. This is how you'll see comments, likes, all types of stuff. And what's going to happen is a bit... Uh, eventually you'll get into more of the community behind SoundCloud than just uploading shit and expecting people to find you. You gotta go find the people, you know? Um, my fuck. Pretty much, um, after you do that, one thing I would recommend, if you, if you can't make music that quick or if you take a while to make a quality product, have already five to ten songs that you know you want to upload or already have a project that you know you want to upload because a lot of people make a SoundCloud and then they sit there with a very inactive SoundCloud and it makes you look just look like you're wasting everybody's fucking time. Um, what you really need to do is you need to have already an upload plan, already have shit that you want people to hear and then when you make it, hit the ground running, you know? Um, don't make your account, upload a song, wait two, three weeks, upload another beat, another two months, have another one. Like, this shit's not gonna work. Um, if you've seen any of my past videos, one of the number one points I was making is consistency. You have to stay consistent in this shit. 2017, man, there's so much new music coming out. Why the fuck should I stay around and listen to you if you're putting out something every other month, you know? If I don't see you, and you're not popping up in my head, and, and I'm, you're not reminding me to be reminded of you... Then pretty much you're gonna just be a mother blind man's eye, and that's how a lot, a lot of people have it because they make these accounts where they probably do have quality music or they do have shit like that, but it, it never really works out, man. Um, so step one: have a good name, have a good understanding of the type of stuff you want to upload, have a good picture, all of that. Step two is just hit the ground running. You know, follow a hundred, maybe two hundred accounts. The more, the better. You know, and then just start reposting tracks that you like start leaving comments things like that people don't understand if you go through and leave comments on people's shit and you leave a hundred comments a day you might fuck around and get 20 followers just off that you do that five times a week that's a hundred right there like you know like break it down in small increments it's not that hard to really get followers and shit like that and what happens is once you do get to that a thousand to that two thousand three thousand it becomes oh shit it becomes more of an automated process where people find your music because other people are sharing it you know? Damn, I've never taken this long to roll a blunt. Let me just finish this. 
I mean, I've been waiting to smoke all goddamn morning and fuck around with these people, man. So, goddamn, um, after you already have a good amount of people that you're following and things like that, you gotta hit the ground running, have a consistent upload schedule. But the number one thing is, don't just put out your music. Um, link it to your other social media account. There's no reason. You gotta understand, social media is free. It's easy to, it's easy and it's free to make a SoundCloud. It's free to make a Twitter, free to make an Instagram. So what you need to do is, if you have friends at your school, if you're in high school, you got friends on your Facebook, if you got friends on your Instagram, you need to be sending your music to these people. Believe it or not, some people be in a box and they always oh, corny, I don't wanna share my music. Those are gonna be the number one people that support you, you know? And your supporters make fans, okay? And your fans turn into supporters. That's just how it happens, man. Because a lot of people are your fan and they fuck with your music, but they won't support you. They won't buy your product. They won't pay money to come to your show. But your supporters will. And what happens is those are the people that you rely on to turn fans into supporters, man. And that's just how I feel. Um, take advantage of all opportunities. If you have a Facebook with a thousand friends, you need to be posting on there. You need to, When you put out a song, you need to put it on there. And then just keep a real, keep a real constant pattern with that. And you'll be good. Um, don't don't focus every day coming back to your SoundCloud checking how many followers did I get, how many followers. No, just fucking do the work, keep your head down, and look at the rewards later. You know, don't look at the reward because next thing you know, you'll log in one day and you'll be at fucking two thousand followers, and you'll be like, oh shit, my goal was a thousand. How the fuck did I get here? You know. Um, so it's not that hard if you make a new account. A lot of people think you have to have a, a year, two years, three years. On SoundCloud to get these amounts, these amazing amount of, of plays and views and shit, and that's really not the case. It's about having quality music that people want to fuck with. You gotta understand the community behind SoundCloud is crazy because, say, all right, me, I'm a beat maker. I, I I'm following 600 people. I got 2,500 followers, 2,600 followers, whatever. I'm close to 3K. Most of my followers like the type of music, or at least the type of music that I fuck with. You know. So if you're following people like that and you're making this community, if I repost something like that, so many people find it and then they repost it and then it's a domino effect. That's how you have to think. The more music you put out, the more music people can hear, the more music people can share. The less product you got, the less niggas buying anything. So you need to be putting out a project a month, a motherfucking song a week, like things like that. And I guarantee you that shit will be way easier than you think. Um... I'm going to put out a lot more videos with a lot more in-depth, detailed information. Right here is just a little quirk, a little quick, uh, I said quirk, guys. A little quick, um, a little quick video just talking about it because I wasn't really going to make a video this morning and the topic popped in my head because so many people ask me on feedback on their SoundCloud and things like that and it doesn't make sense for me to go and make individual responses to people that have a real generic problem. If you have a real specific problem that's different, but a lot of these people, they're they're at the same spot, they're at the same place and position, and they're not understanding how they need to switch it up to gain some sort of gain some sort of like acknowledgement from it, pretty much, man. So I hope some of this made sense. Um, there's really no excuse. There's so many opportunities, so many ways to make money, so many ways to make fans, so many ways to meet people to collaborate. That's the other thing. I, I made this in my last video, like one of the quickest ways to gain fans. And I was talking about doing collaborations with other artists that are in the same type of genre as you. A lot of people think it's only enough money in here for your pockets. And that's not true, man. It's enough bread out here for everybody to fucking eat. Everybody gonna eat. So it's not like you're gonna hurt your fan base or anything like that if you do make a solid collab with somebody. You feel me? Um, so just put yourself in these certain situations to get the compensation. You're gonna be good. Stop complaining and playing and wasting time, man. Because y'all trying my patience. God damn. <laughs> But I'm just out here talking shit, bro. I'm about to upload a few more videos. Uh, I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one consultations. So if you do have a SoundCloud, if you are an artist, an independent artist at that, um, I'm going to do $75 for an hour on a, a on a consultation for you. You can do a Skype call, FaceTime, whatever. Maybe even two hours, you know. Actually, yes, I'll do 75 for two hours, you know, just for the next uh, 30 days. So get it while it lasts, but we, we can come up with a real, a real strategic plan that's going to boost your sales, boost your popularity, and boost just the response that you get in your music. Because a lot of people, a lot of people just don't know what they're doing out here, and I'm starting to realize that that you want to be a creative, you want to create your music and your art. And I understand that, but at this day and age, you gotta also be the businessman behind your product. And if you're not treating your shit like a business, you're not gonna be able to put yourself in any sort of business situation. So I hope you understand that. 
that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna say. I'm gonna cut this video off because it shit ten minutes. It was only supposed to be two, three minutes. I took five minutes to roll a blunt. So I don't know what the hell going on. But more videos soon. It's your man Devin Malik. Same shit, different high. Whatever, whatever. Uh, Blunts Daily. Follow me, subscribe. Hey, yo, follow me on Snapchat, Bandcamp, Instagram, YouTube. Nigga, check me out on Rap Genius. Motherfucking Tumblr. Goddamn Depop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need, man, you can find me, yo. So y'all stay up, refuse.